wipe and what wipe 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 and what wipe 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 it heard it here Hey Pepper Gang and any newcomers to the channel, wipes and extraction games go together like meatballs and spaghetti, chips and salsa, cocaine and a cigarette, you get the point. With the unveiling of more and more extraction games this year, the question of are wipes necessary arises more frequently. That's why I made this video to share the pros and cons of wipes in this genre based off my experience as a creator who specializes in these games and ultimately create discussion as to whether they are needed or not. So for the initiated, what is a wipe? In general, it's when the game wipes every player's progression, stats, inventory, stash, and more. There are general all-player wipes that are unavoided, such as the Tarkov wipe twice a year. Then there are player-initiated wipes, resets. These are optional resets that players can do themselves such as resetting your account in Tarkov Midwipe or prestiging in Marauders, a feature I will dive in more in a bit. Now in regards to the general all-player wipes, the main purpose of these wipes is for devs to introduce new mechanics, items, content to their game, and since these changes are typically very impactful to their game, they have to wipe everyone's progression, introduce the new content, then everyone starts over with a newly patched game. Now, Tarkov, still a game in beta, has used the system for years, and players have gotten used to it to the point where the game feels like it needs wipes to function. It's part of being a Tarkov player. You get hyped, binge the new wipe, try all the new content, try a new playthrough doing the old content, and eventually you play less and less and less as the wipe progresses and you reach your goals for that wipe. Then ultimately you stop playing until the next wipe rolls around, the hype comes back, content is announced, rinse and repeat. And Tarkov isn't the only game doing this. Since Tarkov is considered the godfather extraction looter right now, number one, a lot of new games in this genre have adapted the wipe system that Tarkov uses, at least while they are in early access. Dark and Darker has wiped to introduce new features in its young lifespan. Marauders has wiped a few times since early access release in order to introduce game-changing mechanics, even though wipes won't be in the end final product of the game. And the Cycle Frontier had a couple wipes before their game got shut down. So, wipes have been the standard in extraction games so far. They bring hype to games, they encourage new players to hop in where there is a wipe, since they can learn the game on an even playing field with vets and wipes ultimately help devs mold their game in early access and there is a clear audience of gamers and like wipes in games we can look outside extraction games to further support this rust is a game built off wipes ranging from weekly to monthly force wipes and the whole game revolves around it and face punch uses the monthly force wipe to introduce new content cosmetics and more numbers rust pulls are quite significant too Path of Exile is another example with their Standard and League option. Standard Leagues are permanent, while Challenge Leagues wipe every 3 months or so to introduce a new mechanic so people can opt in when that happens. Another hyped up wipe event many gamers look forward to. Seems like wipes bring a lot of positives, but let's try looking at the other side of the coin. Are wipes necessary? Are they a result of poor game design? Some would argue that a well-designed game shouldn't rely on a mechanic that eliminates someone's entire progression in order to sustain a healthy population for that game. I honestly would love to mention a successful extraction looter that doesn't wipe. I couldn't think of any. I think the genre is still so young and in its infancy that we have yet to see a fully fleshed out non-wiping extraction game. The Cycle Frontier did go from a wipe model to a wipeless model going to their third season, and most people agree that was the nail in the coffin because they didn't have a proper plan in place, and combined with many other issues, the game was surely shut down shortly after that announcement. It just didn't seem like a game that would function without wipes. That Marauders, my favorite extraction game still, I would say is the only one with a future non-wiping plan in place. I, along with thousands of people, bought into the game because they promised a non-wiping model by the time 1.0 happens. Marauders has a prestige system built in where at level 50, you can self-wipe and lose progress in your quest line, trader levels and stash, but in return, you earn prestige tokens which you can use for cosmetics and permanent stash size upgrades. If you hit level 50 again, you can prestige once again and gain more tokens, so on and so forth. The rewards and prestige system is still under progress through early access development, but you get the gist. It's a little similar to the old COD prestige system many of us grew up on, and personally, I think a prestige system or some sort of reward system for self-wiping is a great solution to having a self-wipe system in an extraction game and not have to ultimately rely on a full population wipe. If you want people to willingly lose their progress, you have to incentivize it too, and cosmetics, permanent unlocks of some sort, are a good vehicle for this. 
it might be one of the few ways to make a self-wiping extraction game work. Another solution, which is what Tarkov supposedly wants to do at 1.0 or down the road, is to give players profile options. One for a seasonal wiping profile that everyone has to go through, like we do now, and one that never wipes, where you would keep all max traders, your capping container, and max hideout. Think of Path of Exile system. In theory, this could work and satisfy both parties that like wipes and don't like wipes. People who love wipes can still get that with a seasonal account that wipes with everyone else, and those that don't like wipes can continue to play on their non-wiping profile while occasionally maybe playing the seasonal one. But say in theory this looks great because it still hasn't been implemented, and at first glance for the non-wiping profile, you still run the risk of maintaining a healthy population long term. Will that side of the game actually gain new players, or will the non-wiping side of Tarkov slowly lose players over time due to the frustrations Max Meta Kit PvP brings and eventually people got nothing to work towards content-wise? This lack of endgame supports the argument of poor game design, which is why I personally feel that Tarkov might never work without wipes. I think people are too used to that game wiping, and wipes bring a lot of hype. When it comes to Tarkov wipes, the player count pattern shows that most players prefer that early wipe progression, the scrappy battles, the race to get early quests done, that side of Tarkov. Every wipe, the player count drops and drops as people reach best in slot kits and ammo and will move away from wipe day. So is a non-wiping Tarkov a successful one? Apply this to other extraction games. Can Dark and Darker be sustainable with no wipes? Even though Marauders promises a non-wipe model after 1.0, through early access it suffers from the same wipe issues Tarkov has. Wipe hype brings new and old players back, but the game pops slowly trickles and trickles and drops until the next major wiper update. The point is, so far, wipes seem to be the go-to for these extraction games because it's proven to work. The verdict is still on the Marauders since it's not on 1.0 and the prestige self-wipe system is still very raw and needs to be fleshed out. It's something I consistently bring up in my Marauder stream. I wish I could have more positives for non-wiping mechanics, but we still don't have examples to go off. A lot of these studios are still figuring it out, figuring out their visions for their extraction games. Perhaps the first game to successfully solve this wipe dilemma will be the one that brings the genre mainstream and beyond. I feel like we're on the brink of someone figuring it out with all these attempts at the genre, with all these games coming through the pipeline. It's only a matter of time. Or, no one actually figures out a good self-wipe model, because maybe studios will just end up preferring the wipe hype model long term, and they'd rather design a game embracing the wipe feature just like Rust. Maybe wipes will always be core to extraction games. It has proven to bring marketing hype and lots of new players to games and games are businesses and money talks. So that is a big factor in game design too. I think this wipe or self-wipe dilemma is part of the reason why the genre hasn't blown up mainstream. I thought I might have done it sooner and it might never end up that way. Casual gamers don't like the progress wipe in games typically due to how little they game compared to us no lifers who eat sleep game repeat. It's why so many people I think still have battle royales. You get on, you shoot some shit for a couple hours, you work on dailies, you grind a cosmetic, and then you get off. If an extraction game studios embrace the wipe hype model, don't innovate or create a successful alternative, I don't see the genre growing at the levels battle royales did. The verdict is still out on many of these early access games, such as Marauders and the Prestige system, so this will be a conversation we will need to revisit down the road once again. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you personally prefer wipes? I personally love them. Fresh starts, self-wiping is something I already do in a lot of these games already. I'm also a DJ and extraction fan, so I don't expect everyone to like that. I appreciate you watching this far though, I hope I got your wheels turning. Let me know your thoughts below, if you enjoyed this video, stick around and check out this one suggested at the end, discussing extraction games as a whole in 2024. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day.